called goalies weird for a reason. I mean, I loved it. Um, and, you know, when that buzzer went off in overtime, I was, I was very excited. Um, you know, I felt like I owed my team something. Uh, and uh, for the comeback they had, it was I was excited that it went to a shootout, and uh, it was great to win it. <coughs> <laughs> and Josephine Pucci. Josephine, getting that winning goal, how did that feel? Oh, I mean, it was definitely awesome, but it wasn't great, I guess, until the main her final stage. So. Yeah. Did it feel gratifying that a defenseman scored the uh, game winning goal in this thing? Um, I mean, you know, it's always cool to be a little bit off. Get too many opportunities to, to do this, have, have, have a shootout, and, 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 and one game. What was your uh, feeling? Like, obviously, you weren't on the uh, in, in the three originally for it, but what was the uh, talk us through this the process for you when you know coach that sends you out there? Um, so yeah, right before the third shooter on the other team shot, um, coach said that if I had to, if we had to go to four shooters, I would go. So initially, I was just like, well. You know, I wanted to end after three as soon as possible to get the lead. If that ended there, it wasn't <coughs> exciting. But um, once the Northeastern shooter scored, you know, I just jumped on the ice just like any other shot. Um, you know, we've been in so many pressure situations. So it's, you know, just go out there and shoot. So it's fun. Actually, did you figure the pressure was going to eventually pay off for you in the third period? Um, <coughs> definitely. I think our team, especially as a third period team, um, I, I mean, we kind of gave Coach a heart attack first two periods, but we had a similar game last Saturday, and our team never gives up. It's a big thing about hard hockey. Is we'll play to the last, you know, buzzer, and uh, I think we definitely proved it right there. And no one gave up on the team. So, I mean, you said just another shot, but clearly it wasn't. And we know the goalie eats it, eats it up, but as a shooter, it's a different. You know, I mean, were you excited to do it, or were you like, oh god, I'm gonna go? Yeah, I mean, I was. Definitely so pumped to take the shot, but you know, I, by saying it's not another shot, I'm saying you know, don't let the pressure get to you or to be nervous or anything like that. You know, be excited for the opportunity. And um, I guess just another shot. You know, we take um, breakaways all the time in practice right before team days. We have showcase, and you know, it's good practice. Just have that same mentality. How do you do that? Um, I don't know. When you have shooting ten one in the, in, in the second period and you haven't made and, and you're still down two goals, was, was the feeling in the, in the locker room? Was it? Uh, did you feel momentum starting to turn, or were, was there concern because you had uh, outshot them so uh, so drastically in the period and still not really made any headway? I mean, I think we were still down a little bit. Um, it's tough to shoot a team and then not get in the net. Um, but I think, you know, we realized that we could, you know, run all over this team. We could beat this team. We were proving it that period, and we kind of just went with that momentum into the third period. I mean, still being in the third period, we weren't, you know, getting goals. We were just getting more shots, more shots building up. But um, I think that just kind of gave us more momentum, and finally we put one in the net, but we just kept going. Ashley, a fourth being caught, and obviously this could be your fourth the team to game. How important was that to you guys to get that win and go on to the Unbelievable, like absolutely unbelievable. Um, in the locker room, definitely after the second period, you know, you just looked around and the seniors, you just want it so bad. And of course, all 22 players were playing for every single person on that team. You know, it's not just our last bean pots, everyone's. You know, we look at every season as an individual season, but definitely um, as a senior class, we really wanted this one, especially making the championship. Um, so fourth year, fourth time, so we'll see how we do. Yes, I was. Yep, I was. Uh, because it, we, things weren't clicking for us more than anything else. It was less about the score and more about our play and, and, our, and the efficiency of the way we were trying to do things. We didn't execute very many plays. We tried to do too much offensively, make one more play, you know, one more stick handle. Uh, and when, you know, I, I think the 
the last the last two di last two games, the two opportunities to come back. When we've kept it simple, we've been really good. When we've you know let the puck do the work and not try to do too much individually, that's when things really start to click for us. So, you know, what concerned me most was that we were down two goals, but more importantly, that we weren't playing our game. I mean, we've played well and lost before, and not and I I can understand that, and that happens in hockey. But you know, we want to make sure that that we're trying to do the things we do really well despite the score.